Here's the image of that red door that I want to cover up and work over and clean up so that it looks more like it did when it was first built, not after all of these other little devices were added on the outside. Uh, the first thing is this box here that contains a doorbell and an intercom system that has its wires coming down the molding here and up into the molding across here into the wherever it goes. And then there's this little device here that comes out and also the um, wire here going up the side of the wall. And then we're going to cover up these two boxes that are alarm systems, security alarm systems of some sort. Now the first thing I'm going to do is make a patch, taking a patch of this brickwork and laying it over this um, box here and trimming it back to the molding and so that the brick and the mortar all line up with the um, existing brick and mortar so we cover this up. Same thing up in here, I'm going to cut an archway of these bricks in the arch here and then move that uh, patch over to this side so it's covering up the majority of those boxes. This little part right up here is going to stick out, and with a cloning tool from bricks over here, I'll clone that back and clean up that little part, part there. But the, the arch from over here that I copy and make a patch will fill in on this side. We'll take out the light here. That wasn't part of the original deal, and uh, clean up some of the paint, and maybe even uh, straighten this bush a little bit here in the pot. Not going to worry about the drain pipe here or the existence of the other door. Now, in the first red door... Uh, movie we talked about uh, making double doors or cleaning this up so that the brick on this side matched the brick on this side without the drain pipe without the second door but for this project the doorbell the wiring the uh, security things perhaps taking out the light cleaning up the bush here and even this number this three eight up here doesn't seem to match very well I might want to deal with that so to get started, I have the red door original image here, and I'm going to click on that and drag it to the new layer button, and it copies that and calls it the red door original copy. I'm going to turn off the original, and it's I keep that there just in case I need to go back and find something that uh, has to be uh, fixed or, or copied or whatever, but it's a good idea to keep your original, even though I'm going to work this one and other layers to uh, complete the job here. Now, uh, I'm also going to make a new button right here and make a new, new layer and call that not layer one, but uh, bell patch. The one that's going to cover this doorbell. Taking my zoom tool, I'm going to zoom in on this little area of the, of the image so that I can get very close and see what I'm doing. Now, notice that the brick in its... Uh, form is there's a long brick and then a short brick then there's a long brick and there's a short brick that's the pattern that the brick layer used to set this wall and of course there's the mortar in between it so there's a, there's a common sense of the long and short long and short now some of the bricks are a little chipped and a little unsquare and so the mortar gets a little wider but for the most part this rough brick and mortar we can we can assemble in here and and, and make it sit inside of like this patch or or um, the cloning stuff and it, it just resembles each other. There's some pinkness, there's some yellowness, there's some dark grayness, but it, it's uh, all over the board with these bricks just depending on when the brick layer picked up what, so we can use that to our advantage. Now I'm going to copy the patch, I'm going to copy it off the Red Door original copy and notice that it takes one, two, three, four layers of brick to cover up this box and the bit of shadow it's cast here. So I'm going to take my polygonal lasso tool and come over here and start right here at this corner of this um, uh, long brick. And I'm going to come up above it where the mortar is and, and come to this point. So I have the full mortar on both sides of that. I'm going to click here and there's one layer, there's two layers, there's three layers, there's four layers. Come down to this point and pick up the mortar across uh, the way here so that I've got mortar and shadow of brick mortar all the way across. And when I come back to the original line, you see it, that little zero shows up by the tool. And when I click on it, it connects, it shapes itself into this rectangle, and it um, has the marching ants, which means the marquee, which means that's what I'm going to copy. Now, on the layer here, red door original, command C copies that information inside the marquee. Then I go and select the bell patch 
And now I paste that in the bell patch with Command V as in Victor key. And you can see when I turn this off that there's the patch with all the mortar around it and the bricks in place. So I turn my uh, red door back on. I'm still active on the bell patch. I'm going to take my move tool. And then this corner right here, as I move this down, this corner I'm going to place right here where, uh, let's see, where this big brick starts right here. So that corner I'll just set right there and line it back up. Well, i got to go a little higher because I'm not covering the bell patch. So let's go up to this brick up in here and uh, line it up so that the mortar, the short brick here, the mortar, everything is lining up. And, and it also lines up, if you notice, uh, you know, the long brick, the short brick, the long brick, it, it's, it's lining itself up. Now, I've got a bit of a patch over the uh, a piece hanging out, and I'm going to just put my finger on the space bar with my go tool, and I see, you see the hand tool shows up, and I'm just going to move that back a little ways. Then I'm going to shut off the bell patch so I can see where I'm going. And it, it's still active, but I'm, I, I, I'm, it, it's invisible, but it's still active. I'm going to take my polygonal lasso tool and just start up here in the paint because you, when you start in the paint you can see the end. If you start out in the dark and you can't see the end you're going to go click 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 and it's when you bring this back and join on itself. But I'm going to start into this uh, down this molding and catch a little of the shadow of the molding but not the wiring of the molding and uh, go down about that far past my patch come back into the white pillar here and then close. Now that's going to be the trim you see that marquee there. When I turn my patch back on, the patch is showing. And when I click on this marquee with the delete button, the key on the keyboard, it just trims it right down. Now, I come back here with my uh, Command D on the keyboard, uh, takes away the marquee. And here's my patch. Now, there's one thing, it's, it's hard to even see that uh, where it goes. It's, you can see it a little bit. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take my erase tool. Now watch, when I turn this uh, lower layer off, the original copy, you can see the edge and get know where you're going to get started. And you come back out of here with the erase tool. And I've got about a 17 soft edge on this thing. I'm just going to trim away the outer edge of the patch I cut so that that uh, mortar line is not a hard line, it's a soft line. And here I come down that mortar line and, and just... Uh, take the hard line away even this brick here's the patch and here's the non patch the lower level but I'm just taking that away and softening the line now I'm down here let's turn this off and I'll see where I am see I'm here and I'm I'm softening that patch and then when I get down here I'm just softening that edge so there isn't a hard edge it's a soft edge so it, it just sort of wins its way back into the, the mortar that's there now watch when I turn this back on it's virtually impossible to see where uh, that patch is. If I turn the patch off, you can see the box and the shadow, but on and off. That's the idea of this patch, is to let the brick fill in and uh, continue with the mortaring, even though the mortar isn't exactly straight, but it is short, long, short, long. Keep that pattern going and then complete that. Now, if you'll notice, I'll go up here to the navigator in this red square, I'm just going to pull it down. There's a, a wire that starts, uh, let's see, right below our patch here. And let's, let's turn the patch off. Okay, uh, right about, well, about there you can see the wire. So I'm going to move the picture up, finger on the space bar, and move it up, and catch that wire right there. This I'm going to do with the cloning tool. And I've got a, let's go down to about uh, a 21 brush size. And then I'm going to click with my Option key. I click a target right there on the top of this brick, right where it meets the mortar. Click. Now I've taken the target. Now I move my finger off the Option key, and I come back and not. I don't click on the mouse here, but I click on the Option key again. That allows me to line my target up with the right edge. And then I let go of that, and I click. And see where that plus is, is the original target. And so I just come in here and... Um, Oh, you know, i got to be on the red door here. That has to be the active uh, layer. So let's do that again. I'm going to click on this brick, click and release, bring it over here. Now just the Option key to realign my target along the edge of the brick and the mortar. And let go of the Option and then click. And where the plus is, that's where the pixels are coming from. And I just paint down. And get close to that uh, 
uh, the wood molding, but don't get right on it. And you see you're going from brick inside the same color brick, and you're just replacing. There's the mortar being replaced, and there comes more brick. I've let go of the mouse and start again without changing my target and coming down. And you get close enough to the wood, there's a little bit of a shadow perhaps cast by the, the wood molding, but I'm just touching out that wire so as I come down and I don't have to keep changing things, I'm just coming down and doing the wiring. There's a little bit of a white mark there. I'll get a little bit of that brick and cover that up. When I get down here where the, where the uh, uh, parts of this plant are, I may have to take out some of the plants from uh, information above just because uh, it's hard to cut your way in there. But here I can go uh, to the mortar and then slide across and come down and then maybe take some darker brick up above here and finish that line all the way down. You could take some dark brick in this place and come down and get these wires that are going across the ground. I don't know about the pipe. That's probably there for uh, watering plants or something, but uh, I'm going to leave that alone. But I did cover up the brush marks there. While I'm here with the uh, cloning tool, I can get some nice clear paint up above and start to repair some of the paint chips that are uh, on the molding. And uh, I can come back later and take care of this. Take the white above. Now notice there's light white and middle white and darker shady white. And I just would come up here where that shade is and come down here and then just use shade for shade and light for light and uh, go down as far as I can go until I start picking up the original chips in the paint and uh, complete the uh, painting of this guy. Now, up above, I get a bigger brush. I'll come back and do that in a while. Let's finish the, the wire over here. Again, I'm putting my finger on the space bar, and I'm you, know, you get the hand tool, and you can slide this up and down. So uh, let's go up here towards the top, uh, get the clone key, and uh, again, line up brick edge, and then aim it here, and don't click the mouse, but just aim it with, with the... Uh, option key. Now let go of the option key and when you click on the mouse you are taking where the plus is those pixels of the brick and the mortar start to replace. And here again you just keep coming down and you're going to replace uh, like for like most likely. Now the brick does vary from yellowish to blackish to pinkish but uh, for the most part I'm just going to come down and, um, and take what I get as I go from brick to mortar, brick to mortar to take out this uh, line and then I'll come back and, and uh, finish off any uh, glaring ch change that I should deal with. Okay, now I've got the line pretty much gone. Now, like here, this, this brick, uh, the option key is a little darker, not so pink. I'll go in there and maybe this one I'll just take some of that orange out. And uh, this brick right here was pretty dark. So I'll go find uh, another dark brick, maybe down here in this area, and just... Uh, make it uh, a little more likable. All right, so now we're at this device here and this wiring. It's, I've got a yellow brick going on there and there's a yellow brick. So I'll just take the corner of that brick and come up here and aim it and then come back and just uh, watch the brick. Now remember there's a bit of an arch going on here and I'll come over here and take out this wiring at this point of the brick. And uh, there's a little bit of red there. I wanna make that not red because you see it there. There's a short brick here, so I'm going to take this short brick right there and come in here and uh, not only put the brick in, but also think about the mortar that's lying around it and uh, reconstruct this brick. Now, we are taking out shadow, so it's not quite as dark. Come over to the line here and, and go right into uh, the uh, area there. Watch the mortar. You might come down here and get some of this mortar there and just complete a mortar line through there just to change it up a little bit. There's mortar here that uh, can come through and clean that mortar up, make it more like it was before. Take some of this yellow brick and finish off that one. This brick here is the same as this brick, so take a corner, come to the corner there and just uh, wipe that cord out at that point. Get some more mortar here to slip between them. Okay, there's a short brick and a long brick. The long brick is going to be going into that uh, wire there, into the molding, and then bring it back out. You might want to reconstruct the mortar that's between it, and uh, that mortar seems to work well there. 
All right, now we're into a long brick here and a short brick, and it's a dark brick. So I'm going to take just some darkness of this brick here, and I'll, I'll just uh, wipe that through and uh, come back into where the wire is gone. Take some of this mortar and squeeze through that. Take some more mortar here and clean that up. Now, I've got a light brick going into a dark brick, so I'm going to take some of this dark brick and just uh, stay within the shape of the brick here. And uh, the, the, the texture, the color, it, it sort of works itself out as long as you don't leave any residue, per se. Now, see, there's a long brick and a short brick, and there's mortar in between there. So I'm going to take the mortar up on this part of the arch and come back here, aim it with the Option key without clicking yet. Take off the Option key and just put that mortar bar right through there. And maybe come back and clean up that little tip there and and uh, some of this mortar here to reassert itself in the in these bricks in that part of the arch take the brick in this uh, darker long brick and and complete that take some mortar between these two and fill that out take this brick and let it uh, clean itself of the wire take some more of this mortar here and roll it back so you're replacing like for like here's another angle strip and i just take the angle down here and come up there and aim it and come right through it take some of this and clean off that corner of the wire here's another angle at uh, the shadow and mortar and then come up into that brick and clean off that part there's a little bit of wire there take it out of the mortar here where the mortar comes up and meets this archway i'm going to take the arch of the mortar and just use short strokes wipe that uh, cord out here's a short brick that's been cut to mat to uh, match the uh, archway so i'm just gonna come across there and take that down a bit maybe a little bit of mortar right there and uh, some mortar here to clean that mortar where the wire where the brush is or the wire take this darker brick and start in here and come all the way across this dark brick and um, okay i've got the mortar just a little high here so i'm going to come back to the shadow and mortar there come to the corner here aim it and come across and put the mortar back where it ought to go so now i'm back in the brick laying business all right as i work my way north uh, i'm still going with um, the proper mortar and and taking out the lines there here i've got a short brick and a long brick let's see there's a short there's a long, this would be a short. So I'll take uh, this brick right here and put it in the corner and take that uh, short brick and wipe out uh, the brick. And then the mortar, I'm just going to take the mortar that's lying. Well, I'll take, I'll take the shadow that's already there. And just the touch there takes that away. This is a long brick. Take some information of the long brick and just wipe it through there, taking out the line. Here's a short brick but I want the mortar to come through there with the shadow some more yellowish and blackish here in this short brick some more of this mortar meeting where the shadow of the brick meets the mortar and is coming across here we'll just wipe some more of this out now this does take a process I'm almost to the top here here's a short brick that's sort of pinkish so I'll come down here and I'll get this corner of this brick right here it's a pinkish brick get that corner and come here and aim it right there and then um, only take the short part of the brick. I can even drop down and get some of the mortar down below and finish that off. Maybe take some of this mortar and touch there. All right, so now I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm way up to the top. I only need some just touch, touch mortar here just to finish that right there. Now, when I back off with the, my uh, navigator tool, you can't see anything going on there that, that isn't just brick. I've not only taken the line out, but I've taken out everything nearby that would even leave some hint or residue of that line. So as we are now, the bell's covered, the, the uh, uh, wire is gone, and, and the little wire and this device right here and up the way, it's gone too. The last uh, big major thing is this, uh, cover these things up. Now I'm going to make a new... Uh, I, I hit the bell patch so that my next layer will go above that. And we'll call this the um, box patch. 
or maybe better, let's not call it that. Let's call it the arch patch because we're going to make this arch. Okay, so it's an arch patch. Now, what I do is go back to the red door and I take um, my, let's get a little closer here to the action. I'll just zoom in on this a little bit. Before I go up there, I want to clean off uh, what looks like a little bird do right here. I'm going to just take uh, some of this brick that's already there and just take that uh, white out, come in here with the mortar gray and take out that little corner and just come up this way and do that. Uh, that it's always going to bug you if you look at that and say, oh, there's some uh, bird dung there somewhere. Well, let's take that out. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is cut an arch starting at this brick and mortar, short brick, long brick, and this mortar around the molding here and come down all the way to this brick, come out and take that mortar and then take the mortar around this arch. Okay, so I'm going to start with the mortar out here. Click and I'll keep with the mortar. Now I'm going to follow this arch, and I assume that the arch uh, is a half circle. The English uh, carpenters are pretty good at making half circles. And I'll come down here to catch the mortar, and I'll just miss the pipe here, and come back with the mortar. So I have the mortar to blend in with the other mortar that we're going to deal with. And as I come across the top here and meet the, the line, there's the marching ants, the marquee. Now, from the red door, I copy that, Command-C. Then I go to the arch patch, and I do Command-V, as in Victor. And I've got this thing, um, the patch is there, see? There's the patch. Now, to move the patch, I come over here and turn on my Move tool. Be sure you look up here on the top menu and have the Show Transform Controls clicked on so that you see the bounding box. And you also get this center... Uh, rotate thing. Now if I rotate this patch now, it'll rotate right in itself in the center. With your move tool, grab that rotate well, you grab it, it is moving, and put it down here in the center of this archway. See, it, it did move. Sometimes it'll move and you'll see it, other times just move it down when you click on it. But it'll end up down here. This is the center of the circle. And this is the arch that we're going to switch swing it on. So it'll rotate from this point. Then Come out here to the corner. I'm going to take this lower corner so it won't rotate out of the picture. Now remember, you you get an angle here that that's to size it. If you hold the shift key down, it will size proportionately. But if you move it around a little bit and you get the bent arrow, that means you're going to rotate it, and you're going to rotate it on that center rotate point. So just click and hold and just rotate it like a little train going around the track. Now it's not quite on, but I'm going to bring this over. Remember, this has a short brick, long brick. And I see a short brick, long brick, I'm approaching it. So I'm going to bring that over there and set it right there where the short brick, long brick is. See, that's where I put it together here. Now, um, I'm going to move this just a touch so that it, the mortar meets. See, I just moved it a touch. By the way, if you get started and it, it, things don't move swell, go up to View. And if this snap is checkmarked, then select it and let go of it, and the snap will go away. Sometimes that snap won't allow you to uh, uh, set exactly where you want something to go because there's an unseen grid pattern behind it. With a snap on, it wants to meet the lines of the grid pattern, not where you want to put it. But see, I've got this line now, pretty much where the mortar is going to go, but it's a little off down here. So I'm going to take the... Um, I have to apply that because I moved it. You hit the, sh the um, go arrow and it'll say you've moved something you want to do that yes apply it okay so now i'm going to take this and put it back at that point right there and rotate this back down uh, so it fits the arch a bit better right like that okay so that now i have to apply that because i moved it now i'm getting closer to where i want to be here i'm going to adjust the margin or the, the brick and the mortar just a little bit more and i'm almost okay with that there's a little bit of an edge here, but I don't mind that because um, that's probably where the line would have been. I hit the down arrow just a touch, and that uh, that's the arch of the molding anyway. Okay, now you can see I've got this thing uh, looking pretty good. I'm going to take my eraser tool, and right here, and I've got a 17. Let's get a little bit bigger, like uh, 21. Click on the ruler or someplace else, and it'll go away. 
Now, right where that edge is, I'm going to just take the edge off that mortar. Now, you see what I'm doing? I'm actually edging on the patch into the brick below. I'm erasing the upper layer on the patch, and I'm seeing the brick below. And that melds the upper brick into the lower brick, and you can't see the difference. See that um, long brick, short brick, and then short brick, long brick. So I've taken that edge off. Same thing out here on the out, outer edge of this stuff. I'm going to just take that mortar very carefully and take just a third of it off the edge here. So I'm getting a meld or a uh, meeting of, of the original mortar up down below showing against this new bricks on the patch. Now again, if I turn this off, you can see that I've dulled the edge here. And I can even take some more of this off because I don't need to see that. I've dulled the edge here. Now, the last place I have to dull the edge is over here where, let's see where it is. Okay, right there. You see that's a little off bound, so I'm going to erase that until I get back to uh, a short brick and a long brick. And it takes that mortar off. Now, it might be just a little wider brick, but it's still a short brick, long brick pattern. Okay. Now... Uh, I see a little white showing through. That's part of that box that's behind here. That's how we're going to get rid of the, uh, the boxes here. I'm going to go back to the red door original, take my cloning tool, and uh, get it a little bigger. Let's see. Let's go about 35. Now, okay, and I'll just click away so that the panel goes away. Now, you see I've got uh, a long brick and a short brick, and here's the long brick start. So I'm going to move this over a little bit more. This is where my long brick starts. So I'm going to come and get this long brick right here. Option key and click on the corner. Then come back to where this corner is and aim it. And then let go of the option key. Now just click and bring the brick and the mortar and just the, the second line as well. And just bring it in here and rub it. I'm on the lower level here as far as the arch patch is above. And the red uh, door original is below. And so I just follow the mortar and pump it all the way back and everything is lined up now short brick long brick short brick long brick okay so that's gone now back over here I've got a little bit of brick showing there so you see that color brick right there I'm gonna take that color and I come over here and I just touch that up way and um, pull that up and so those bricks sort of meet together see so I've got a long brick, short brick, and um, let's see if my patch is there. Okay, I need to take this brick again. I'm still on the la layer of the red door original, and just clean this brick up just a touch. There is some mortar in the middle. Now there's a long brick, short brick. It's a little wider, and if I really work this, I could probably get that to be a little more. I could stretch something or pull something and get it to be. Um, part of the archway. It's a little bit wider brick there, but I'm not going to worry about that because it's kind of hard to see through everything that's there. Also, I see a little bit of stuff working its way down over the molding. I'm just going to go back to that arch patch and I'm going to erase just a little bit of that. It's touching down there. Okay, so I've got that um, arch in place and when I back off uh, it's pretty close to our, all the brick working in my favor. And uh, if I had a little more time, I would go back and work that a little bit. But that's, um, you can see where I'm going with this, is to use the arch patch to cover those uh, boxes. Now, the light switch here. Let's come in here and get uh, close to that. And you see there's a nice natural line going across here. There's a shadow with red glowing off the door. So let's get a little not so close. Now I'm going to take my uh, cloning tool and uh, this 35 seems to be pretty good. I'm going to just click over here in this uh, straight to white to shadow line and then I'll come here where it starts to break up just a little bit and start there. Aim it and now, whoops, you know I got to be on that layer. All right, now I'm on that layer. All right, option key and take a target bunk there. Now move over here, adjust the option key, and replace your target. And now click, and you're taking the edge, and you're coming down here. Don't go all the way to that lower shadow line. Just come through it. And going halfway is a good idea. And then come back on the other side. Take a measure here, or a target, click, and then come to this edge, and line up your thing with your option key down. Let go, 
and then just fire back and, and clean back up. You're taking the reddish shadow, you're taking the line, and you got that done. Now, come over here again to this, uh, where this door uh, seam seems to be, and click that and bring it over here, and option key again, and aim it. Don't click on your mouse yet. Now click on your mouse and take that information and just take out the lower part of that light. And you can actually, you go far enough across that you, I've got a long enough stretch that I can take it all out at once. So now, there's one other thing you could do is that, you see that uh, shadow right there? It's got a bit of a bump here of what where the light used to be. So I'm going to click right in the middle of this seam and come up here and take just a little bit of that light out. Just kind of like that. And then it looks like the door is jammed here is forward and you've got that covered. One, um, I, I could go up and I put a black or a white... Uh, on a, on a new layer, put a white patch here, then on a layer above that, using my text tool, I could put a black three and an eight, and I've got that covered. I'm not going to take the time to do that just here, but that, that would solve that problem. If I come down and say, um, I've got a thing going on with that bush, uh, I, I'd like to fix that. Uh, I'm going to make a new layer here and um, call it uh, bush. Now I'll go back to the original. And I'm going to take a, um, I'm going to go right down the middle of this bush uh, using the whole thing. Let's see, let's get about this much of it. Come across the other side and come back up. Okay, I've got uh, the bush. Now, on the original red door, Command C, I copy it. I go up to bush and Command V, I paste it. Now, I do have it two copies there. If I turn this off, you can see I do. <clears throat> but I want to spin this bush copy. <clears throat> I'm going to spin it, uh, or flip it horizontally. To do that, it's selected with the Go tool. And I come to Edit, and down to Transform, and across to Transform to Submenu, and all the way down to Flip Horizontally. And what it's going to do is flip in place horizontally. <clears throat> so it's going from <coughs> right to left. Now, taking the move tool, I'm going to take the other half of this bush and I'll just slide it over here and put it uh, a little wider. All right. Now, the, this is going to go quickly, but it could be, take a little more time than I'm going to take. I'm going to take a little uh, eraser and I'm on that bush. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to erase right down to the uh, original green bush and take out that edge and just down into this plant. Then over here, I'm going to erase not the bush itself, but getting close to it. Now, of course, that's a little darker. <clears throat> and that's where you'd say, well, I, I got to take some time to get in closer and, and get uh, the dark out, but leave the edge of that bush because the, the rugged edge is going to be important to sustain uh, the look of that bush. And I'm coming down here and I'm taking out uh, that lower layer of flowers showing through. I might go back in, really zoom in and just clean that up. <clears throat> but you can see I've got uh, the bush happening. If you don't like this little spin in there, um, you can virtually take that spin down. So it isn't so obvious. And then go back to the doorbell, I mean the, the original door, and then use your uh, cloning tool and come up here in this shadow area, take an aim again, and then just come down and take that little spike off there. Now it's not quite so symmetrical. You might even work these off a little bit. But you see where I'm going. You can make the bush look bushy and more symmetrical. But as you back off, then uh, you have the piece done. So not taking the time to fix this, but mentioning that. Having done the lamp, coming back and cleaning up the paint as well and some of these other wires that I don't think needs to be there. Uh, I've cleaned this up to the point where it's a lot more presentable as it was made when, in, when it was first built. Now I've left the, I'll save this with all the layers on it and I'll keep that in, in my uh, files. I'll also save it again, but I'll come here to the option bars and say flatten the image. And then all these images will flatten down and that's the picture, that's the image that will go off to being processed in a print machine or on a website or someplace with the only one layer being there. So we've covered that, we've covered that, we've cleaned that up, we've done other things to it. That's the job of this picture to get the red door from um, 
now back to when it was first built.